Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping in at my channel. I'm Lorelai. This is my YouTube channel where I do a lot of fountain pen and ink content because it is my current favorite hobby. And I have a new pen to show you today. So in today's video I'm going to go over my new pen, my first impressions of it, and I do apologize if you see uh, this in the screen. Cassius is very clingy today. He wants to be with me at all times. So, he may <laughs> land himself in the shot. You never know. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? I am an affiliate for Atlas Stationers, which is where I bought this pen. So if you're interested in checking out their fountain pen um, stock, please feel free to use my coupon code Lorelei10 for a 10% discount. Uh, and I so I will also get a kickback from that on your purchases, and which is why I was able to buy this guy. So I thank you very much for considering using my coupon code for your future purchases, and I trust that you'll let me know if the coupon code stops working. But as of right now, it should work great. Lorelei 10. I'll put it on the screen so you know how to spell it. It's tricky. Anyway, I have picked up a Memento Zero by Leonardo. And this is another Italian pen. Yes. Sorry, as Cassius likes to lay on his back, so his feet are up in the air. Hopefully you don't see his his private area. <laughs> so, uh, it's another Italian pen, you guys. I know. But let me just start by saying that when I saw this come up a couple months ago, I initially saw it on the coming soon area of Atlas's website, I just fell in love immediately and I knew that when it came available I was gonna need to get it. It's just so unique. However, I will say that when I got the pen I was... it was not what I had envisioned in my head because it photographs so differently. Um, it's a weird pen to photograph uh, because it's got so much depth and so much glitter and sh sparkle and shimmer in the material, which is by Jonathan Brooks, by the way. Um, it's just really hard to capture in a still photo. You'll see it well in the video. Anyway, let's get this opened up. This is not the first time I've opened this box, just so you know. I wanted to show you how it's packaged. It's just very classic Leonardo clamshell box with the classic um, faux suede interior. It comes with the little booklet with all of the good information about Leonardo. And finally, this is the pen. So this is the Golden Abalone Exclusive from Atlas Stationers. And as you can see, it's a very light overall creamy ivory color with swirls of gray and black. And there are areas of pink, very pale, beautiful peachy pink. Looks like I got 117 out of 150. Uh, it's hard to see it right here. There is an engraving that says Leonardo X Atlas 117-150. I chose the ruthenium trim, which is the black trim. You can also get this pen in a rose gold trim. 
I ended up picking up a medium nib because that's my sweet spot at the moment. And that black nib is just so beautiful. Now, um, this is the Memento Zero, not the Memento Zero Grande 2.0. And I will throw in a picture here of those two side by side so you can see the difference in size. I forgot to bring it up here, but I'll insert a picture. And the this Memento Zero is so comfortable. I tried one of these because my friend Elizabeth sent me uh, her mango orange one. And it also had a black nib, and it was so nice. So I knew that I wanted to add this particular size to my collection because I have two of the Memento Zero Grandes, and then I also have the La Picolina, which is the smallest of the Leonardo pens. And so it was missing that middle size, so that's where this guy comes in. So it fills that spot perfectly in my collection. It's a cartridge converter pen, much different than the Memento Zero Grande, which is a piston filling pen. But it comes with the branded converter. This pen was released in July of 2024, so it literally just came two days ago. So. I had just felt like I was waiting forever because they teased it so much on the website and on their social media that it was coming and then finally it said uh, late June to early July shipping and it finally shipped. So anyway, this comes in an extra fine, fine, medium, broad, or stub nib. Again, this blank is from Jonathan Brooks. It mimics a gorgeous abalone shell, not in the typical abalone colors, which you would normally see is like greens and blues and purples. This uh, is the same type of swirling as uh, I have seen this material used before on a Zodiac pens pen. Um, but what has been really fun so far is seeing what everybody's pen looks like when they get it and they are th like slowly the videos are rolling out on YouTube. So do a, do a search for Golden Abalone Leonardo and look at how different each one of these are. I mean, I initially gave them instructions to send me a pen because the picture online shows it as a much darker background. And I thought, well, I don't want any large areas of white. So I like said that, but what I didn't realize was that the background is white. <laughs> so I am happy with the, the one that I got though. So I won't be sending this back. It's mine forever. Uh, this retails at $250. Um, yes, that is a, a steep number, but this is so unique. I definitely think it is worth the money. Absolutely. Because it, it, Leonardo is just top-notch, in my opinion. As far as fountain pen companies go, I love it. I don't have any complaints about any of the Leonardo pens that I have in my collection, and I have of you. So uh, if you use my coupon code, it will save you 10%. Lorelei 10. This um, these threads, you cannot even feel them. There's just a very slight step here where the cap kind of sits against that area. It's got, you know, three bands of the ruthenium 
and then one on the body of the pen and then one on the end cap. The clip is very sturdy. It's got a roller on it. It is a bit short, which I think is kind of strange. People have mentioned that before on videos. Doesn't bother me. I don't use the clip. For all I care, it could go, it could come without a clip. <laughs> so again, I got a medium nib. I, don't, I never post my pens, so I won't be posting it for you here. But I will do a little bit of a writing sample. It is buttery smooth. I got a medium nib. It's steel. It's the ruthenium. And I have inked this with Deatramentus Velvet Black Copper, which is essentially a black ink. The base color is black and it's got a beautiful copper colored shimmer. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. The medium is quite nice. I would say pretty wet. You can see the shimmer on the feed there. It's a plastic feed. I have compiled a list of awesome ink options that would go wonderfully with this pen and I'm going to share them now. I hope you enjoy. Dia Tremendous Velvet Black Copper. What I have in mine is a great option. But also, uh, some other options are, how about Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour, which is kind of a light khaki tan color that would probably mimic these colors quite well. I also have Wearing Gul Anubis on the list. This is a gray base color with a coppery pink shimmer. I also have Kobe number 54, Goshi Kiyama Ochre, which is just a beautiful pink color that would probably bring out um, or mimic the pink tones in the pen body. Diamine Dusted Truffle is another beige leaning gray with a shimmer in it. I um, think that one would be beautiful. Wearing Gule Autumn Night After a Thousand Years is kind of a green leaning gray with shimmer. Birmingham Copperhead is a peachy pink tone that perfectly matches the pink in this pen. Also, a little bit darker is an Ink Institute Seabold's Lily, which I think would also be a nice pairing with this pen. I am so very happy with my new Leonardo, and if you haven't checked out the Golden Abalone yet, I demand that you do. <laughs> so I hope you all have a great day. If you liked what you saw in my video today, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've gotten 
a golden abalone if you plan on getting one. If you have any questions about the pen, let me know in the comments. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content like this coming soon. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.